J.C. Glick is a bad man. And this guy had over a thousand combat missions. I think he's a lot stronger on the inside than he gives himself credit for. When you look at him as this big, massive guy, and then all of a sudden he gets vulnerable with you, you're like, oh, wow, I didn't expect that. When our alphas open up so much, it catches people by surprise, but it really hits home harder. I'm proud that he's on my team. My name's J.C. Glick. I did 20 years in the Army, retired as a Lieutenant Colonel, and now I am the National Director for Merging Vets and Players. Vulnerability is absolutely an essential power. Vulnerability is what makes us perfectly imperfect. People who lack vulnerability lack strength. They can't be vulnerable. They're afraid of what somebody will do to them. If you're vulnerable, that shows that you trust yourself, that you can actually come clean about things that maybe you're not proud of, or maybe that didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Trust is the most important thing that humans have between each other. It's absolutely imperative if we're going to evolve as a species, if we're going to evolve as a society. Inherently, we want trust, yet we are very stingy with giving it. I think we have to have trust in each other, but I think we also have to have trust in ourselves. We have to trust that we have a greater capacity than we believe ourselves. I think unbreakable is kind of the next evolution of being human. I think that our culture has kind of taught us that humans are fragile and that we have to be careful. But I think that when we're careful, we tend not to grow as individuals. We tend to stay safe. We all have to learn how to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And the fact that we can take these chances and try new things, and when we come out the other side, we're still there. I was fortunate to do a lot of different things in my life that, that didn't break me. And I think that we have to take that kind of mindset in our culture and as humans and kind of evolve it. Being unbreakable doesn't mean that you never fail. Being unbreakable means that you take those feelings and you put them to the back of your mind and keep going. When you break, you do have a choice. You have a choice whether you stay broken or whether you decide that, hey, that's the best thing that could have happened because here's what I learned from it and keep taking a step forward. Failing isn't breaking. Failing is becoming unbreakable. We are unbreakable.